Hey guys, it's me again. So I just realized that in my last video I explained to you guys a little bit about what my new grad or when I was starting my new grad program, but I didn't tell you guys um, kind of like what my new grad my new grad program consists of. So um, for those of you who are wondering, it is a med surge tele uh, program. So for my hospital, they have the med surge and tele floor together. Um, I'm not sure if all hospitals do that, but my hospital specifically does. Um, and the nice thing is that they have two people all the time, depending on how many patients. I think it's like one to 15 ratio. But if we have 30 patients on tele, we need two tele techs to be monitoring um, our patients at all times. So they just sit in an area with just a bunch of screens and then they monitor our patients. If our patient gets off of tele, they call us. If a patient has um, a high heart rate, so they're tachycardic, they call us. If they're bradycardic, they call us. If they have a certain rhythm that we need to worry about, they call us. So I thought that was pretty cool, especially because I'm not the best at uh, monitoring like or reading the tele and EKG strips. And so um, I felt like that was really cool. I don't know thing that they did. I haven't, I hadn't really seen any hospital uh, do that. But then again, I haven't really worked in a lot of hospitals either. So, anyway, um, so it is a med surge tele floor. Uh, our program is a two-year commitment. So specifically for me, um, I know two years sounds like a long time, but I think it's a good time for me to gain my confidence and gain those like core nursing skills that I think are really important to provide good patient care. Uh, we do get 12 weeks with the preceptor. And then after those 12 weeks, we can either uh, tell our managers like how we're feeling. Um, so if we're not feeling like as confident as we want to, or if we feel like we're lacking in certain skills, they did say that we have the opportunity to um, kind of go back into the classroom setting and work on the skills that we feel like are needed, or we can extend our preceptorship for a few more weeks. So I thought that was pretty cool that they gave us that option. Uh, but after those 12 weeks, we do have that one year like of support from our preceptor and from our, um, Kind of like management after that one year then we're kind of just like off on our own for an additional year and then after that we can either leave or we can apply to a like new specialty uh program so they have those as well those are for people that have already been nurses they already know how to be and work as nurses and then they're just going into a new specialty so i thought that was um also cool and then of course you there's other hospitals that offer that as well so after that two years if i'm not liking the hospital that i'm at then i can also do that a different hospital for a different specialty um but yeah we do get those 12 weeks uh, with the preceptor we also uh, start accruing pto right away which i thought that was pretty cool because i've seen some hospitals that don't allow you to accrue your pto uh, while you're doing that preceptorship, you get you have to start that afterwards or even um, after the 90 days. So I thought that was kind of like a good um, addition to our position. We accrue about seven hours of PTO per paycheck. So I thought that was pretty uh, generous. I do know that med search is a lot of work, but I also know that's really good learning experience. You get to see such a variety um, of diagnoses and patients and just different procedures that they're going for and different things things that they got going on uh, even now that I'm doing my extendership uh, I'm able to kind of like just hop into other patient rooms and observe different procedures that they're doing um, it's nothing like crazy or acute but it's still something that I haven't experienced even though we're not working as nurses right now um, my program doesn't start till Monday we are I feel like I've I've learned a lot, and um, like I said in my last video, I know where, where things are. I know who the people are, so I've developed some rapport with them, and um, yeah, I'm excited to learn. So, kind of just wanted to clear up what my program consisted of, and um, let you guys know what I'm gonna be getting myself into soon. So, anyway, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching.